In this tutorial, we're going to create a basic exit intent pop-up using Elementor. What I mean by that is we scroll down a website, we go to leave the website by clicking the back button, and our pop-up pops in. This is designed to capture your visitor's attention right before they leave in the hopes that they'll stay or they'll convert into a customer or some kind of actual be taking place that they stay within your environment on your website. And in this case, we have an ebook download. All they have to do is click the button to download it. You can also have an opt-in form here, which we'll add in later videos and connect that to MailChimp. But first, we're gonna build just the basic exit intent pop-up functionality in this tutorial. We'll expand on that in later tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started. To create a pop-up, go to the templates option right under the Elementor option and click on pop-ups. And if you don't see pop-up as an option under Elementor on your site, it's probably because you don't have Elementor Pro installed. Elementor Pro is required for the pop-ups. If you don't have Elementor Pro yet, you can buy it through the link down below. It is an affiliate link, but if you purchase through there, I get a little bit of commission from Elementor that keeps you making these videos, but it also does not make it more expensive for you. The price for you stays the same, but Elementor gives me a cut, which helps me keep pumping out these helpful videos for free. So if you are gonna buy Elementor Pro, the link is down below, and if you go through that link, Thank you very much. Then click on add new pop-up. Pop-up will already be selected in this field. Leave that as it is and then add a name. I'm gonna call this plant ebook. Click on create template. Now you're gonna see a whole bunch of pre-built options in here for your pop-up. We're not gonna use those for this video. I'm just gonna click on X. I'm gonna start with the blank pop-up canvas, which is this area right in here. The dark area in the back would be the main website that's then blurred out or darkened. And then the pop-up is visible in the middle. To go to settings for the pop-up, Click on the gear in the bottom left, and I'm gonna make this pop up as wide as possible. We're gonna change the height to custom. Gonna make it full width or full height, sorry. Content position gonna to set to the center. So all our content is gonna be in the middle. And then I'm going to go to style. Gonna change the background from nothing at all to transparent. I'm going to change or turn off the box shot by clicking this little arrow here. For the overlay, I'm going to make the color white. So instead of having a see-through darker colored background when the pop-up pops up, it's gonna be a see-through white background when it pops up. And the first piece of content we're gonna put in is an intersection, because we're gonna have two halves to our pop-up. One half is gonna be an image. The other half is gonna be text with a download button. It doesn't have to be a download button for your pop-up though. It could be a coupon that people could use in your e-commerce e store. It could be a link to some other resource. It could be any number of things. The only limit is your creativity and your ideas. But in this case, it's not gonna be behind an opt-in form. They will not have to opt-in to get it. They'll just be able to click the download button. And then in the ebook you give them, you could then have further calls to action after you've provided value to then have them download something else using an opt-in. Or then you give them a coupon or what have you. This will just be a really simple pop-up that will hopefully add extra value to your visitors and keep them in your ecosystem when they were actually about to exit your website. So let's add an image. After all that rambling, drag and drop an image into the intersection here. I have a nice little ebook image right here. It's just a mock-up. It's not a real ebook cover. On the right-hand side, I'm going to add some text in the form of a headline and then also in the form of a text editor. And I'm going to add a button. And now we have everything I want for this pop-up in place already. We just gotta add background colors, adjust sizes, and things like that. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. So I'm gonna add a background to the main section. Click on the six dots for the main section. Go to style. Let's choose a background type. Let's give it a color. Kind of a lightish gray. And let's round the corners. Gonna give it a border radius of 50. You can just barely see it. Let's make the background a little darker so we can see a little better. That's a bit darker there. And I'm going to change this heading to hold on. And this text here is going to be get your plant on with this totally free ebook about decorating with plants, period. This is gonna be a download button. So to click here, it's gonna say download. And we're going to adjust the styling for this guy. 
for the typography, I'm going to make the font size a bit bigger. So it's very clear what we want them to do. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make the text color white because we're going to add a background color of orange. I'm going to add a border radius of 20. See how that looks? Looks pretty good. And I'm going to center it back over on the content tab, line it in the center. And now I'm going to center all this content. I don't have much content in this column, but for vertical align, I'm going to make it the middle. And that looks terrible. So I'm going to move it back up to the top. And this looks a lot better with some extra text here. Or we can shrink down the size of things. So we could shrink down this image by going to style and applying a max width. Let's make it like that maybe. And I'm going to play with the background so the book pops out from the background area. Right now it's contained within our light gray background. I want the book kind of sticking out a little bit to make it a little more visually interesting. So I'm going to choose the section that contains the intersection. Click on the six dots and I'm going to add some negative margin top and bottom. Let's make it minus 50 pixels. As we can see the background, the lighter gray is now behind the book and the book pops out of it a little bit, which I think looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to move down this whole section here. And now I'm going to make the book a little bigger again. I think we can stand it to have it be a little bit bigger. When it stands out like that from the background, I think it looks pretty neat. And this section here, I'm going to add some margin to the top to move the text down so it's back within the container. I'm just going to copy and paste this sentence. Let's pretend we have a bit more text here. Unfortunately, each line is the perfect width for the sentence. Looks a little silly. So let's make this a bit bigger. There we go. I think we're I think we're getting somewhere here. I'm pretty happy with the design. This is something I launched on a website. The only thing I might change, depending on what a client wants, is turn this download button into an opt-in form where someone has to opt in to get the ebook versus just clicking download to get the ebook. I will make another video where I link this to MailChimp. So someone has to opt in, there's gonna be an opt-in form here. That's gonna be linked to MailChimp. They'll be added to the appropriate MailChimp list. Then they'll get the download and then all clients are happy. You have a version like this for some clients and you have a version with an opt-in form for other clients. And like I said earlier, you can also have a coupon on here. If they're on some kind of WooCommerce page or a sales page and they go to exit, you could have it flash a coupon and say, hey, I'm sorry that you didn't find what you need and I think maybe this $10 off coupon might help or this 10% discount, or we're running a sale to the end of the week, or something, anything to alert them of some benefit for staying and converting into your customer. So last thing we have to do is this download button needs an actual PDF. So if we click on the download button, we have a link field. In this field, we have to link to some place where they can get this ebook. You'd have this be in an external website. A website that I use, or a product I use to build ebooks these days is called beacon.by. It's a really great ebook builder. One of the reasons I like it is I can share a link to an ebook. I could have a thousand of you guys on YouTube download this ebook. And then when I update the ebook inside beacon.by, it will update for all of you whenever you guys next access that ebook. And it can also be downloaded as a PDF if you want to. In that case, it wouldn't be auto updated. You have to access the online version again to download the new update. But I wouldn't have to share links over and over again whenever I make an update. It can just be there. And I think that's fantastic. But in this case, we're going to upload a PDF into WordPress and then link that to here. So let's head back into the regular dashboard and then go to media, add new. I just made a PDF called blank. It's not the actual ebook, but it is a PDF file, as we can see right here, file type PDF. And there's a file URL right over here. I'm going to click on copy URL to clipboard. And then I'm going to paste it right back in here. And that's it. We're all done. We're going to test this download button in just a second. When we click publish, we have to define where we want the pop up to appear. You can have it appear on the entire site. That's the easiest. And that's what I'm going to go for in this tutorial. But you can refine it more. You could have this appear only on specific pages or posts. You can choose them here. Well, you choose the group and then it goes to posts. And then you can type in an actual post. So I could type in. Let's see if we have a post here. Mountains, more mountains. There we go. So this pop-up would appear only on the post, more mountains. And we're going to set it so it only pops up when someone exits. So you can be very specific and very targeted for where you want your pop-ups to appear. I don't have a post about plants, but if I did, this would be a great place to put this specific pop-up because it's an ebook about plants. So you could have, if you wanted, a different pop-up with a different offer for every single post on your site. 
I don't recommend that. That's a lot to maintain, not to manage, but you could do that if you wanted to. I'm going to change this back to the entire site. I'm going to head over to triggers and I'm going to choose on page exit intent and just turn that on. There's a lot of other triggers on here that I'm not going to talk about in this tutorial, but just the names of them kind of imply what they do so you get an idea of what they do just by reading them. But tutorials for these can also be found in my Elementor playlist. Click on save and close and now we're going to go out to the website and test it. We're on the home page here. Scroll down a bit. This is an exit and 10 pop up. So when the website senses that your cursor is leaving the browser, for example, to get up to the back button up here, it goes ping, there was a pop up. And here it is right here. This one doesn't stand out as much because we have a white background with kind of a, a light gray area. So it, it is noticeable that it appeared, but if you wanted to stand out even more and pop even more, you'd keep the background black. You can make something that really catches the eye, but is also on brand. And then if someone clicks on download, they immediately access the blank PDF in this case. But in your case, it would be whatever item you offered. If it was a coupon that you're offering, this could be a button that auto applies the coupon, or it could be just a coupon that they copy and paste into the cart. And as I mentioned, if you don't like the download button here, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to link this to MailChimp using an opt-in form right here. So stay tuned for that. There'll be a link to that tutorial on this tutorial once that one's complete in the near future. And next up is checking out this tutorial series right up here. I'm going to show you how to do all kinds of stuff with Elementor Pro. So check that out. If you have Elementor Free, check out this playlist down here where I'll show you how to do all kinds of stuff with Elementor Free. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, keep crushing it. I will see you in the next video.